So in order to schedule your Facebook Reels, you will need something called Meta Business Suite. And this is completely free to use if you already have a Facebook page. Earlier back in the day, there was something called Creator Studio, but then Facebook or Meta went ahead and discontinued it. And now everything can be done inside of Facebook or Meta Business Suite. So before we jump into all that, let's go ahead and first understand what reels are. So I'm pretty sure you are familiar with TikTok videos and what reels are is a very similar format. So it's basically short form video and Facebook or Meta released these back in 2021. I believe it was somewhere around September 2021 where um, creators or pages or businesses could share short form content and get a lot more reach from their audience. So what the specs are for Reels, uh, the duration at the time of recording this video is up to 90 seconds and it can be as short as 3 seconds. So between 3 seconds to 90 seconds is basically the duration of the Reel. So it's very short form content. But if you're scheduling Reels in advance, my recommendation, and this is what works well for me, the sweet spot is to keep those reels under 60 seconds. So if you're looking at format, uh, this is directly coming from Meta. The format should be MP4, the resolution should be 1080p, and the aspect ratio should be 9 by 16. So I have a ton of content on my channel already on how to create short form video so make sure to check out the playlist called content creation tips for more tutorials on that but um, in my personal opinion and what I personally use uh, to create short form content is an app called CapCut and InShot. They just make it so much easier to make reels using your smartphone but if you want to create reels specifically just for Facebook you can also record the reel using your phone using their in-app editing features which i will show you in a second so why reels why should you even care why should you post them so as you can see in this slide this is a screenshot of my facebook page and you can see i have grown to over 8,000 followers and I was able to achieve this by posting reels. I was already making a ton of short form content on platforms like YouTube Shorts and TikToks and Pinterest. So I did have a lot of videos already that was within that, you know, 60 to 90 second range. So what I did was I repurposed all this content as a reel on Facebook and as a result, I was able to get my brand, get my personal brand in front of more people. And this really helped me grow my page. So that is why I'm doing this tutorial for you. If you already have content or you're thinking about creating short form content, um, I highly recommend you, you know, post this on Facebook. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that as well. So before we start posting, before we get to Meta uh, Business Suite, because I know that is a whole point of this video, I just wanted to give you a, a couple of best practices because I know a lot of you might already have a lot of uh, TikToks or you know YouTube Shorts or Pinterest video pins out there. Um, but in order for you to be successful on Facebook as a creator, uh, you know, I want you to take this into account. So the very first thing is do not have any kind of copyright music. Um, having copyright music can lead to your audio getting muted. So if you have copyright music playing in the background and if you're talking in it and you have something very valuable to share, Facebook will mute your audio and you do not want that. And also as a result, you might get suppressed views. So if you are posting anything on Facebook as a reel, I highly recommend you use copyright free music uh, platforms like Epidemic Sound. Uh, There's so many other ones out there like Artlist uh, that really helps you, you know, get some music that is copyright free that you can add to your audio or 
you can also use the Facebook audio library. Facebook has a good selection of upcoming trending audio that you can use. Um, so I highly recommend if you do have, uh, you know, any kind of talking, uh, uh, talking videos there where you're giving a ton of value to your audience and you like to have some kind of soft music in the background or trending audio in the background just use the audio library provided by facebook or use your own copyright free music uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to link in the description uh, what i use i personally use epidemic sound but there are uh, all these other ones out there but if you'd like to check out epidemic sound i'll make sure i'll, I'll link it in the description um, the third one is if you use any TikTok videos, make sure that there's no kind of branding on it, no watermark. Um, there are tools. I've done a couple of YouTube shorts on this already on how to remove the TikTok watermark if you're already like trying to repurpose it that way. So make sure to check out my playlist for that. But uh, if you are repurposing content, make sure there is no watermark on your uh, Facebook reel. And then the next one is uh, a kind of a cliche, but I know a lot of people miss this, is there's a ton of content out there on TikTok that is more trendy, you know, at the time it's popular, but by the time you repurpose it as a reel, make sure it's also relevant to that time. You know, I, I have a ton of content that I've personally done on TikTok that I don't repurpose on Facebook Reels because... It was created a long time ago, that trend is no longer relevant and also it doesn't really apply to that audience. So make sure whatever that you're repurposing is done strategically and it is relevant to your brand, to your audience and also to Facebook in general. Tip number five is having captions. So um, this can be done at the editing stage of your video. It can also be done inside of uh, Facebook as well if you're trying to post things manually but if you have a uh, content where you are talking in it you're providing value you're doing a tutorial any kind of head talking content you want to make sure that you have captions because sometimes people consume content without the um, audio turned on so when that happens you know if you don't have closed captions you can lose a lot of people so um, having captions will help you with your audience retention. So if you had that, if you have that type of content, I, I highly recommend you have captions there. The last tip I have for you is being organized and having all your content in one place. I personally use Notion and this has helped me kind of, you know, write my descriptions, do my hashtag research, all of that in advance. Uh, and let me show you what my Notion looks like so you can get an idea. And also, I'll make sure to link a copy for you at the end of this uh, video so you can grab my free Notion content calendar. So guys, this is what my Notion uh, content hub looks like. So I have one created for all my other platforms. So this is the one that I specifically created for TikTok, as you can see, and I can clearly access everything under the sun that I need to in one place. And this is what I'm talking about. Just have something that like keeps you organized so that you know exactly what you need to do. So I have one for my content idea bucket, you know, what I need to work on, what's being filmed, what's being edited. And I also have a calendar version of this. So this is my calendar for, um, you can see this is for February and I have been, you know, consistently posting every single day on these platforms. And also it does have a score. So 100% means that it's being repurposed 100% across all my platforms. And I do have that kind of organized over here. Um, I do use a couple of other tools like repurpose.io to automatically remove the watermark from my TikTok video as it gets posted and then send it to my Google Drive. If you guys want a tutorial on that, I'll be more than happy to create one. Just let me know in the comment section. Uh, and if it gets enough comments, I'll go ahead and make a video for you. So that's my content calendar and like I mentioned earlier, I'll make sure to link it in the description so you can grab a free copy of it. Now let's learn how to post a Facebook Reel using your smartphone. 
So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to hop on to your Facebook page on your phone and then you're going to click that plus sign at the bottom and then you're going to select Rio. Once you do that, you can bring in your videos from your phone. So I just brought in this example and now you have the option to write your text. So go ahead and type in your text to describe what the video is about and the best part is you can adjust the duration so that you can control when that text appear and disappear. So you can edit it this way and also Facebook gives you the option to add in captions you like from here add any audio you can also add different stickers so you can choose a sticker a gif or even an emoji so choose whatever you like uh, have fun with it and then click next once you do that you will have the option to go ahead and select a thumbnail so when you click there you can select the thumbnail from your video click save and now it gives you the option to share it now. The only disadvantage in posting a Facebook reel on your phone, you know, you can do everything under the sun, even like edit the video, add your description, add your hashtags. However, at the time of recording this video, Facebook does not give you the option to schedule your reel for later. So because of that reason, we need to use either a scheduling platform. I personally use Metrical. If you want a tutorial on that, let me know in the comments and I'll make one for you. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this for free using Meta Business Suite. And for this to work, you wanna make sure that you already have your Facebook page as well as your Instagram account connected. So it would not work if it's not connected. So make sure you first do that. And then I'm going to head over to Google and kind of walk you through everything step by step. All right, now you're going to go ahead and go to Google and then type in Meta Business Suite. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the very first search results. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. So once you click on that, you will come over to Meta Business Suite. So as long as you have your Instagram and your Facebook page connected together, it should pop up over here. And then you can also see your posts and reels, your stories. If you are running any ads, it would show up here and all the insights. So if you click on any of these, you can see the insights of every single post that you created inside of Facebook. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and head over to Planner. So click here. And once you click on month, you can see all the posts that you created for that month. So in the month of February, you can see that I've pretty much posted every single day on Facebook. I've been pretty consistent, but that is thanks to scheduling that content in advance. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to head over like under create post. You're going to click on this little uh, toggle right here. And now it will give you the option to either bulk upload videos or create a reel. So what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to click on create a reel and now it will give you all these options. So what you're going to do is you're going to select, so share to, you can uh, select if you just want to share to Facebook and not Instagram. Um, if it's just going to be Facebook, I would just check this off. But if you also want to post it on Instagram, you can just have both checked off like this. Um, and then the next thing is you're going to go ahead and add your video. So let, let me go ahead and quickly do that. So it will take a few seconds to upload. As you can see, uh, it's fully uploaded. Uh, in order for this to work, as I mentioned earlier, make sure that your videos are 9 by 16. Um, if not, it's not going to come out properly. So when you're exporting the file, any kind of editing app or if it's being exported uh, straight from TikTok without the watermark, it should be fine. Uh, so just add your video here and then you can also add a caption to your reel along with hashtags and the best thing that I love about um, using the, the, the meta business suite is that when you type in hashtags, so let's say for example, I'm creating content on you know online business or digital marketing, it will tell you how many posts it has. So this is beneficial because you can see if the hashtag that you're putting on there has a lot of competition or if it's like you know low in the competition because it doesn't have like this one has like 1.9 million posts like i think that's a little bit uh 
it, it is a competitive hashtag to rank for. Whereas if you have 284,000 posts, that might be more of a better hashtag. So obviously that's just an example, but you know what I mean. Um, when you do use uh, the Facebook interface, it just gives you that automatically versus if you use like a scheduling software, it doesn't really give you that option. So I think that is pretty neat, uh, you know, using the uh, meta business suite. So go ahead and, you know, write all that in. And then the next part is very important and that is selecting your thumbnail. So when people come to your feed, uh, your thumbnail is what gets people to click on your video and watch it. So um, this is going to be very helpful for you to, you know, get people to kind of, you know, watch your video or click on your other reels. So you can choose from your uh, existing video. So if you click on choose frame, you can go ahead and choose from your video. So I'm going to click on choose frame again. And now uh, you can choose a frame of your video. So, so for example, if you want your thumbnail, let's see, let's see this one. So if you want the thumbnail to be this, you can. It says how to create custom frames on camera using Photopea. That is a good thumbnail, but I still like the thumbnail to be this because it gives me um, like the logos. It has a photo P and the camera logo. And also it has the question that I'm answering. Um, this is actually a repurposed TikTok I did uh, for one of my followers. Um, they had a question and I answered with the video, but I want this to be my thumbnail. So if you click on save thumbnail, it's going to go ahead and make that the first frame of the video. Um, if you have like any thumbnails that you already created, like for an example on camera that is more on brand, you can also go ahead and upload your thumbnail. So you just have to upload that as an image. So make sure if you're doing this, you do have the proper dimension. So it has to be nine by 16 so that it nicely fills the frame. But I'm gonna just go ahead and choose the frame that I just selected. Um, if you have collaborators, you can go ahead and um, either add them by name or URL. I don't have a collaborator for this reel, so I'm just going to keep that blank. And then I'm going to go ahead and click next. So uh, this is the part where you can add any kind of audio. So um, as I mentioned earlier, if you have talking videos and if you have copyright music in the background, Facebook will mute not just your background music, but also your voice, which is you, the whole audio of your reel. So that is why I recommend using a copyright free uh, platform like Epidemic Sound or Artlist. That way the audio that you use in the background is not going to be muted. But if you don't have the budget for that and you just want to use free audio that's going to be accepted by Facebook, then go ahead and use the audio library that's provided by Facebook itself. So um, the, the cool thing about using uh, the Meta Business Suite is that you can go ahead and add your audio from the library like right on here. So if you choose a song, you can choose a song, you can uh, adjust the volume, the duration, all of that in here and you can add your audio. All my music is from Epidemic Sound so I, I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this step uh, and then click on next. So the next step is to schedule your reel. You can either share it right now. That means this video will get published to your page as you click share or you can schedule it for later. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click on schedule uh, and then I'm going to choose a date and then choose a time. So um, I usually always look at uh, my page analytics. So there's no perfect time to post on your page. I know there's a lot of content out there where people say this is the best posting time, but honestly, the best posting time is when your audience is the most active. And to get that number, you have to look at your page analytics. So, um, I do have the number that works for me. So I'm going to go ahead and just like at the number, it's, it's about 10 a.m. EST on my, my end. So I'm going to go ahead and just type, uh, let's say 10, 15 a.m. Um, and that's the time that works best for me. And I'm going to go ahead and just have it like that. 
And then if I have a playlist I want to add this to, I can easily go ahead and do that. And I can, I'll show you how to create a playlist in a minute. But if you want to add that to a playlist, just click here and then go ahead and just click here. So this is going to be a Canva video. So I'm just going to choose Canva tips and then it's going to add to that playlist. And then um, I'm just going to leave all of this as is and then schedule. So that is how you schedule a Facebook reel. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a playlist using Meta Business Suite. So in order to do that, you're going to click on content right here. And once you come here, you have to click on playlist. So click playlist here. Now you can see that I have two playlists that I've created. So I have one for content creation tips and then one for camera tips for beginners. So if I want to go ahead and create a brand new playlist, so I'm going to go ahead and do one with you right now. So uh, click on create playlist. And you can either create a playlist for your reels or your videos. So in this example, I'm going to go ahead and create a playlist for my reels. So I'm going to click on that. And now all you have to do is write a title for your playlist. So I'm going to go ahead and type something in. So I went ahead and typed in Pinterest tips for brands and creators. And as a description, I have how to get started on Pinterest as a personal brand or business. I think that's good enough. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And now I can go ahead and add reels to this playlist. And I'm going to go ahead and select this one and then publish playlist. So now you can see that this video is under this playlist. And if I want to add videos to my playlist, all I have to do is select the playlist first. And once you have that playlist selected, you can see right now it has about 32 reels. So if I want to add more reels to this playlist, all I have to do is click on add reels. And now I can choose the videos that I want to add. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that. So I have this video this video and let's see if I have a couple more videos. Um, I think that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and click save. And once I do that, you can see it now went up to 34 reels. And the reason I wanted to include this portion in this tutorial is because playlists have really helped me grow my Facebook account because if you have a video that's super valuable and people like that video, they can just click on the playlist and watch all your other videos. And as you do tutorials, you can also have that as a call to action saying, hey, if you like this video, make sure to check out all my other videos because I do create similar content. That way you make people want to binge watch your content and really, you know, build that relationship with you. And that is a wrap guys. That's how you create Facebook Reels for your business or your creator account. If you haven't already followed me, make sure to follow me at Inari Official. And if you're seeing this video on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can see more content creation tips just like this one. I will see you in the next video.